Hello, in this video we're going to try to write an equation of a function whose graph fits the given description. So here in this first example, the graph of, uh, it says that the graph of f of x equal x to the third is shifted four unit left, stretched vertically by a factor of three, reflected about the y-axis and shifted two unit up. So from this description, we need to find the equation of this graph. So first we start with f of x equal x to the third, and then it says shifted four unit left. So if it is shifted four unit left, the graph will be y equal x minus four quantity three to the power of three. So as we said in the previous example uh, or previous video, x minus four uh, to the third is we take x to the third and we shift it to the left for unit. And then the next step is we have to stretch the same uh, graph here, the following graph, y equal x minus 4 to the third. We stretch it vertically by a factor of 3. As we see, we take this graph here and we're going to factor it by 3 or multiply it by 3. So we have 3 times x minus 4 quantity to the power of 3. So this is what's stretching by a factor of 3. And uh, the next step is to reflect about the y-axis. Uh, reflecting about the y-axis, that means for uh, reflecting about the y-axis, So if I have x here, and this is the y-axis, for every x become a negative x. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to switch y equal 3. We're going to switch it for minus x to the third. We switch it. So here will give us a reflection with respect to the y-axis. And then we shift uh, two unit up, which is just take the last graph, this one, we shift the two unit up, that means we add two to the y value, or to the whole graph. So three times y minus x to the third, plus two. And this is the uh, final graph. Again, you could go online to the graph in utility, Desmos.com and try each step as you're going to see all this uh, description happening from one graph to the other. And let's see another example here. And now we have the graph of uh, f of x equal absolute value of x. And again, the absolute value of x is like a V shape. This is just briefly another view. So what we need to do is to take this graph f of x equal absolute value x. We need to shift it four units to the right. So the whole thing will be shifted four units to the right. We're going to compress it horizontally by a factor of two and reflect it about the x-axis and then shift it three units down. But the goal here and the question here is not the graph but to find the equation of all this description. So, the graph of f of x equal absolute value of x shifted 4 units to the right. So, we're going to have the new graph y equal absolute value x minus 4. Absolute value of x minus 4. And then we compress it horizontally by a factor of 2. That means we multiply. It says horizontally. Compressed, not stretched. If it was stretched vertically, then we multiply it 2 outside. But because we're compressing it horizontally, we're going to multiply the 2 next to the x. So it will be 2x minus 4. And then you reflect about the x-axis. Reflection about the x-axis, that means for every, here is the x-axis. That means for every y, it becomes a negative y. 
every y become a negative y. So we take this previous y here and we make it a negative 2x minus 4. This is a reflection about the x-axis. And then the last step is to shift whatever we have previously three units down, meaning y will be negative 2x minus 4 minus 3. So we reflect it. We shift it three unit down. And this is the equation of the graph with this given description.